Oh, massively important, and uh, I don't think we did enough of it during our pre-season. Um, you know, do some sort of team building days and have a have a little bit of fun. And I think it's important, mate, that when you when you're playing the game of rugby league and you you're so focused on training and playing week in week out, uh, it's nice now and again just to get a bit of a mental break uh, away from everything. And uh, I felt uh, this this week was a good week for it. And off the back of the uh, the grueling Easter period where it's all been about rugby, 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 rugby for that past two weeks, been very intense uh, two weeks. Uh, just thought this was probably a good day to have what we class as an active recovery session uh, where the boys are going to still get a, a fair bit of workload capacity done running around and that but also in a, in a fun environment away from the training ground away from rugby league um, so mentally they can unwind a little bit and uh, I think it was a really good day today the boys enjoyed it yeah mate it's, it's, it's real good uh, boys boys uh, definitely had a blast in that um, it's good man we've had a tough couple of three weeks and obviously we've um, disappointed with the weekend's result but um, in having this week off um, and those been able to organise this uh, team bonding uh, skirmish and uh, mate, mate, it's, it's real good, it um, freshens the mind, gets your, gets your mind away from footy and uh, yeah, boys just having a bit of a laugh and a bit of fun. You know, today was quite tough on the legs for the boys. It was quite, like I said, quite a lot of running around and uh, some difficult terrain to manoeuvre in with the uh, with the paintballing. But uh, yeah, now we're coming tomorrow. We, we, we've got to work hard tomorrow, Friday, uh, and then I said we'll have the weekend off to freshen up, and then it's a big week leading into Dewsbury. So uh, there's no no hiding behind the fact that we, we still have a lot of work to do as a team. Um, uh, plenty of areas to, to improve on. Certainly after reflecting on, on the weekend's performance, um, so I'm sure, like I said, the boys are going to come with the, in the right frame of mind tomorrow. Hopefully a little bit mentally fresher uh, to perform well at training over the next couple of days and then we're back into it hit the ground running on Monday. They put, they, they put us in two teams here um, it was uh, UK boys versus the rest of the world um, UK boys uh, looks like they got us by 10 points 42-32 so um, I guess they got the bragging rights but um, yeah it really it brings the boys together mate and, uh, and then it's, a, it's, a, it's a good laugh and we had, the boys had a ton of fun. Well I'm not too sure I did get hit a few times uh, no, I think uh, I think Mike Eccles was probably the biggest target today, mate, because obviously he's, he's uh, punished the boys through preseason with some grueling sessions, and uh, I think there was a bit of payback for him today. So I know that he had the uh, the big X on his head there. I know the boys were gunning for him, uh, but yeah, no, I think the boys had a had a great day. It was good. We had the the uh, the English for the rest of the world, and uh, I think I think the English team actually came up trumps in the end, mate. Which uh, you know, obviously you'll be happy with Bear on that one. So uh, yeah, no, it was a good day. Really, really enjoyable day for the boys. Obviously, we've got a bit of work to do over the next two days before he gives us a weekend off. And um, yeah, it's, it's good. Good for the boys to get away, an opportunity to uh, get away, freshen up, and then uh, come back Monday ready to go again.